Good morning and welcome to Forex Club TV. Today is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2009. I'm ready with your Forex Club market update. In today's session, the U.S. dollar is trading mixed against the major currencies in a narrow range. Now, amongst the majors, the Japanese yen does continue to see weakness against the other currencies. Following the release of the third quarter GDP figures here in the U.S., which was the final reading of GDP in the U.S. for the third quarter, the U.S. currency paired earlier gains against the euro as well as the Japanese yen. Now, the Commerce Department reported that the U.S. economy grew at a 2.2 percent pace, which was downwardly revised from the previous estimate of 2.8 percent. Now, some of the factors that were attributed to the downwardly revised reading was a weaker commercial construction, softer business investment, as well as lower consumer spending. And looking ahead to the rest of the session here in the U.S., we do have key economic data releases coming at out at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. This does include U.S. existing home sales, as well as the FHFA's home price index for October. And here at the market open at the New York Stock Exchange, the major averages are trading higher and the Dow Industrials are up by 20, uh, 34 points. Now taking a closer look at the major currency pairs, let's start out by looking at Euro dollar. In the short term, it is under pressure and daily technical indicators are bearish and don't show any reversal signs. Now, the preference of trading central analysts is that as long as the pivot of 1 and 47.50 is not broken on the upside, they do favor down move with targets standing at 1 and 42 and 1 and 38 in extension. Alternatively, only the upside breakout of that 1 and 47.50 level will invalidate the bear scenario. And in that case, a recovery should shape towards 1 and 49.50, followed by 1 and 52 in extension. Now, moving on to the dollar yen, in the short term, the pair is turning up. Daily technical indicators are reversing to the upside and are calling for a technical rebound. For dollar yen, the preference of trading central analysts is that as long as the pivot of 87.50 is not broken on the downside, they do favor an up move with 93.50 and then 98 uh, as targets. Alternatively, a break below that pivot point will invalidate the bullish scenario and then the currency would decline to 82.50. And last but not least, let's take a look at the euro yen cross. On an intraday basis, the upside does prevail. The pair is challenging its resistance and its bullish channel lower boundary. The preference of trading central analysts for euro yen is long positions above the pivot of 130, with targets standing at 130.80 and 131.50 in extension. Alternatively, below that pivot of 130, trading central analysts do look for further downside with targets at 129.40 and 129 in extension. And that does wrap it up for today's Forex Club Market Update. Make sure to tune in tomorrow morning for your latest in FX news. Thanks for watching and have a great day.